Hey guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel for the love of and I am coming at you today with an unveiling of my beautiful new Scentsy Warmer. I did an unboxing a couple videos back and a lot of you had requested to see what the warmer looks like lit up and here it is. Isn't it beautiful? It's such a stunning warmer. So if you guys did not see my unboxing video or if you are curious, the name of this particular style is called Amber fluted shade warmer because this is actually like a shade that goes on top of the warmer um i guess the warmer base so it's called a shade warmer and it's it's gorgeous i love it love it love it um i'm sorry if you guys are getting a little bit of a glare from the sides it was actually so bright i had to put a piece of paper um inside the shade itself to combat some of the light reflecting so if you see a little bit of a glare on either side that's just kind of um it's just very bright as well but i wanted to give you an idea of what it looked like it's a stunning stunning warmer if you guys are ever wanting to splurge on a warmer and i'm not a sensi consultant i am not affiliated with sensi in any way other than i'm a big fan of their products so if you guys are interested hop on their website i did not purchase this from a sensi consultant i purchased this purchased it from Sensi's website and they hook you up with an online consultant and you just purchase right on the site. So I wound up picking out my items and then my mom wound up purchasing it for me. It was a birthday gift. So um, anyhow, you guys, that's my gorgeous warmer. So when I did my unboxing, I also unboxed two fragrances and I got the chance to try both of them. So let me dive into them. And if you guys haven't watched um, my unboxing video, I suggest you maybe um, take the time to watch it. I do go a little more in depth on um, the, the product itself and, and things of that nature. So the first one I had burn, or I guess not burned, melted rather, is Citrus Pop. So you guys, as I said in my first video, just opening it, I can smell it. I knew that it would be a stronger scent. I could just tell. It's so good, you guys. So initial melt, I only did two cubes and I wound up popping another one in later just because I had it burning for so long that I wanted to put another one in to get a little extra fragrance. It was, a, it was definitely a house filler for me. Um, all of my kitchen, all of my dining room, lingering into my half bath. Um, it was, it's an amazing scent. If you are not a huge fan of citrus, but like a sweeter kind of citrus, I think you'll like this one. This has mandarin, uh, orange blossom, and then I think some sort of lemon. I'm gonna put the uh, scent notes um, in the bottom of my description for both of these if you're interested. I will definitely be repurchasing this. It's a beautiful scent. And if you are a citrus fan and don't like orange, I'm not a huge orange fan myself either, which is why initially I was a little apprehensive to try this one. I love it. I love it so much. I actually am at the point already where I'm like, I don't want to use any more cubes because I don't want to run out. It's a really good scent. I've used Scentsy for a long time and um, this is probably one of my favorite fragrances that I've melted from them. Really good scent. So that is Citrus Pop. Definitely a reorder for me. And the second one, I'm on a citrus kick, you guys. So if you're new to my channel, I have a lot of citrus stuff going here. I'm sorry it's so dark, but that says lemon sorbet. So here's the interesting part. In my initial video, I said on cold, it smells almost like a Sicilian lemon zest with like a little bit of a bakery note. While melting, the fragrance changes. A little bit now citrus pop this is true to what you smell on cold is what you're going to smell while melting lemon sorbet is a little different so I switched out my citrus pop and popped in the lemon sorbet this morning I left for a couple hours I went out to lunch with a friend and I came home and I did that intentionally because I wanted to be able to smell a whole new fragrance when I walked in when I came in I was a little disappointed that I didn't smell it as strongly as I had hoped. I did know that on cold this was a little bit lighter, so it wasn't filling my home as much as the citrus pop did. However, once I got into the kitchen and I was kind of in the general area of my warmer, I have this um, on my kitchen counter, and then I could start to smell it. It kind of has, 
I do see what the original reviewer of this I purchased um, before I purchased these. I watched reviews on various fragrances and the Scentsy Consultant I watched on this particular fragrance had said it has like a lemon meringue scent. <clears throat> Excuse me guys. Um, and on cold it doesn't smell that way. I was like really? I get more of a lemon zest. Well burning it does have that meringue type note poke through a little bit but it still has a little zestiness. So not similar to Sicilian lemon. Excuse me, guys, I should have drink. I usually don't do this during videos, but my throat's really dry, <laughs> sorry. Starbucks Molten Mocha. This was <laughs> um, a specialty drink in February. They had a Molten Mocha and they had an iced one and then they had the hot version. And I still order it to this day. I will, I never switch up my drink since February. <laughs> um, my Starbucks I go to, they are awesome. Every time they see me in line before work, they go, are you getting the venti molten today? And I go, mm-hmm. They just automatically know. If you guys are a chocolate lover, venti molten mocha, they have it iced and hot. I always get hot, even though it's like a million degrees out here in Arizona, but I always get it and it's amazing. So if you're a chocolate lover, try this. So little Starbucks plug. Um, anyways, this one was um, a little bit light really really pretty i will definitely i will obviously wind up using the rest of the wax on here um i will probably need to add probably two more cubes to get a little more fragrance and i may wind up putting a little of my sicilian lemon oil in with this to kind of enhance that lemon scent will i repurchase the lemon sorbet no i won't which is really a bummer because i'm always looking for a great lemon scent but that's okay because I found my new favorite citrus scent in Citrus Pop. So you guys, if you have melted any of these, comment down below. I'm curious to see your thoughts and your takeaways on these fragrances. These are awesome, awesome. And I'm telling you, if you like citrus, Citrus Pop is the way to go. It's an awesome, awesome fragrance. So anyways, you guys, that is it for me today. If you guys are not subscribed and would like to be, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I typically upload once or twice a week. Just depends on when I can get my hands on some goodies to review for you. And if you are subscribed already, thank you so, so much. I appreciate all the comments, support, and all the feedback. And you guys, I do have to mention this. I am now on Instagram. I created an Instagram specifically for um, taking pictures of my upcoming videos or various purchases. Um, like I say, sometimes I do a purchase and it's not video worthy. So I want to be able to snap a pic, post it on there. So if you guys are on Instagram, come find me. I will definitely follow you back. You can find me on Instagram at life, L-I-F-E underscore with w-i-t-h underscore l so follow me at life with l and i will follow you back and i post everything scent related so that is it for me today you guys i hope you are having an awesome day an awesome evening an awesome weekend whatever time it is you're watching this video and until next time we'll see you later bye guys